is the model. Here uh, we use H um, as the you know, efficiency. Um, so if you look at the, uh, the right hand side, you see two Y's, um, one set of Y, uh, one set of L plus we have a G in there. That means uh, they are the good uh, output, for example, and then the B, the bad, the undesirable output in there. But the Y um, is the YB. Um, these outputs are transformed by using uh, this uh, linear formula. Now, because of the transformation that's involved, okay, and just like the, the negative uh, data, um, the only choice for the model is the VIS model. That's why you see the convexity constraints in this particular model. So if you use this type of linear transformation, you can only use the, uh, the VIS model. So now uh, let's take a look at um, this picture. Um, this picture actually shows you uh, three approaches for treating uh, the undesirable factors. In this case, you have one undesirable factor, bad output B, and one good output G. Now, supposedly you can just treat these um, two outputs, the good and bad, just as the regular output. So in that case, you will have two outputs. Um, so the the frontier uh, will be the C, D, E, F. So that's just the regular output from here when you have two output. Now the second approach which you can do is you can treat the undesirable um, output, the bad output, as an input. So in a, in a sense you want to reduce uh, the input so you reduce the bad output. So if that's the case that you have a, a, a situation that have one input which is the bad output and one output which is the good output. So the frontier will be A, B, C, and D. Now, the linear transformation that you used, um, what actually it does is actually um, flip this A, B, C, D uh, along the E, F axis. So you see these dots the line, okay? And this will be the new uh, frontier, A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, and E. Um, so this picture shows you three possible approaches to uh, treat the undesirable factor. In this case, I'm using a bad output um, as an example.